we are called very frequently to these situations. Friends and neighbors turned enemies and violent this morning. A man was shot in a landlord-tenant dispute. It happened just a few miles east of Perm, Minnesota. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. A brief standoff occurred before the, this man, 63-year-old Gerald Skolte, surrendered to law enforcement. Now, Skolte is behind bars, and the shooting victim remains in the hospital. Valley News Team's Bradford Eric was first on the scene and finds out more about the 63-year-old at the center of the incident and how often Ottertail County authorities have to deal with this. Officials with the Ottertail County Sheriff's Office tell us that when they arrived on scene this morning, the victim, which was the tenant living on the property, was laying here near the road and the mailboxes with a gunshot wound. Tenants resided in the green, in the green mobile home and Mr. Skolte resided in the white home. Authorities believe the tenants who are not being named have lived on this property for about a year. The Ottertail County SWAT team was called to clear the property before investigators could take over, combing through the tall grass for evidence. We do not get involved in landlord tenant disputes where there's dispute over who stays where, where there's not documents filed through the court. Lieutenant Syme with the Ottertail County Sheriff's Office says his department gets called frequently to arguments between landlords and tenants. And in this situation, there hasn't been documents filed through the court. It's just a civil eviction between the parties living on the property. Gerald Skolte is no stranger to run-ins with the law. The court records out of Ottertail County show numerous misdemeanors and felonies, including fifth-degree assault, a felony charge of making terroristic threats, and felony possession of a firearm. Do you know the firearm used in this situation, whether it was purchased legally or not? I do not know whether the firearm was purchased legally. And that's the next step in this situation for the Sheriff's Office, continuing to gather information, continuing to build the case against Gerald Skolte, and then seeking prosecution. In Perm, Minnesota, Bradford Eric, Valley News Live. Again, Skolte was booked into the Ottertail County Jail. The Sheriff's Office says he is facing attempted murder charges.